All right, good evening. Sorry for being late. Uh, I'm very late. Uh, discussing the season so far section of the football game of the week. And since we don't have a season so far, and it's the first game this week, uh, I'll be looking over the two schedules of both teams. Uh, first, uh, it started with um, Lamont as they are the home team, and I always start the home team. I'm going to not do two videos. I'm going to combine this into one video uh, because there's not that much to go over. So let's take it from here, and uh, here I go. Um, Batavia first game. I per, Just looking at the schedule that they have um, uh, for Lamont, Batavia's, I, I, has, I have to see, who's probably is their toughest team. Most uh, uh, Richards comes up to second. <clears throat> Richards comes up to second. Uh, Batavia's the first game. Rich Central second. Here, let me move this for a little bit. Uh, Thornton Fractional North. Tinley Park. Tinley Park's, I believe, has got a new head coach, if I'm not mistaken. Hillcrest is good. That's another tough team. That's a, that's uh, that's going to be a tough team. Uh, they have some great offensive weapons. Uh, Bremen, Richards, Foreign Fractional South, who I saw to, um, it was in uh, the Hinsdales, 7-on-7, um, seven seven, looked great. Good group of uh, wide receivers that they have in Foreign Fractional South. And their last game is 4 But when you look at the, if, when you look at the Lamont schedule, basically, it's Batavia, Richards, um, Hillcrest. And Hillcrest is going to be tough. I don't care what anybody says. Hillcrest has the team. Um, Richards, they they have a great assortment of talent with Sebastian Castro, Walter Riley. Uh, one, they got one running back now, one other running back he decided to, to leave. Um, but they've got a great group of players. Uh, Batavia is going to be a is definitely a game. When they're you could say they're because I don't like to compare to to especially Richards and Hill, Hillcrest. I'll just say those three teams are tough ones. Rich Central lost uh, lost some kids. Um, Foreign Fractional Self again could be a could be a surprise team. Um, that's about, that's about it for Lamont. I do think though, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, they could, they could, they could, they could get to six wins, uh, with no problem. It's definitely six wins with no problem. Um, the rest are going to be challenges, but I think that they're going to be in the playoffs this season. And I think they're going to do some they can do some damage in the playoffs, especially with that, those group of defensive players that they have. Um, and the speed, <clears throat> the speed that they have at the secondary and at the wide, res uh, wide receiver spot is uh, very, very impressive for Lamont High School. Um, and it will be interesting to see against Batavia uh, who the big running back is for uh, against Batavia. Very interested in that. All right, so let's get to Batavia High School. And Batavia High School, as everyone has known, is now in the new Duquesne Conference. Um, Duquesne Conference is a very interesting conference. Um, and if you look at the games that they have, Lamont after Lamont, it's a great starting opening tough game. Naperville North, of underrated team. Naperville North is very underrated. Um, really like their offensive line. Roselle Lake Park, uh, that's another underrated team that I have as my surprise team. Glenbar North, still, they have youth uh, in their skill spots, but Glenbar North could do something this season. Uh, we know Warrenville South, again, another sort of surprise team with kids coming up in the ranks. Really good, talented kids. Uh, Geneva, um, and then you got uh, St. Charles East, St. Charles North, North, and we North in their last three games, and those are those are the, their last three games. Are the toughest games that they're gonna have to play. Uh, 
in a bunch. St. Charles East, talented. Dylan Barrett, offensive line. Then their offensive line, great. St. Charles North, it's St. Charles North. They're unbelievable. That might be the game. That might be the big game of the, uh, how do you say, the year in the Duquesne Conference. That might be the big dog game. St. Charles North versus Batavia. Uh, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hell of a game. No no ifs ands or buts about it. And then Weed North. I have Weed North uh, sort of as a surprise team. Very impressed with their again wide receivers that they have, the tight ends, defensive ends, defense automatically is always going to be good when you talk about Weed North. Um, very physical defense, and it's sort of a you can sort of make the the claim uh, Batavia esque in for Weed North. But um, good chance, the really good chance of Batavia is that they have a really good chance of going undefeated this season, the Batavia Bulldogs. Um, I think, again, those last three games are going to be a huge challenge for Batavia. Uh, St. Charles North, whew, um, Tyler Newbin, um, offensive line, uh, they got a great nose tackle as well. Quarterback Browns taking over, who is a – a uh, great quarterback, too. Um, just a great group of athletes. Good linebackers as well. Um, th those last three games for Batavia, they're quite something. Very, very interesting. Um, very interested to see what Geneva's got. But I think the Bulldogs have a great chance of going undefeated this season. Um, and it all starts with this first game with the Deep Dish Football Game of the Week, Batavia versus Lamont. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football. Like always, every Monday during Deep Dish Football is usually the quiet day. Tomorrow, talk players. After after that, talking players. Um, talk about schemes, systems. Uh, and remember, uh, uh, Deep Dish Football Live Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Breakfast with Coach Big Pete. 9 a.m. on Saturday, and tomorrow I'll start with uh, my two players to look out for, my two spotlight players to look out for in this game between Lamont for, and versus Batavia. Thank you so much, and have a lovely night, and keep it here for everything for the Deep Dish Football Game of the Week, Week 1, Lamont versus Batavia.